Hi, welcome to another episode of Paul Tom Power, Power System Design's podcast on the latest in power and power design. I'm your host, Alex Paul, and today I'm with Jean Orlus. He's with the China Racing Team, who are also have as co-sponsors our friends of the show, Mauser and uh, Vichet. But the thing here is, is that this isn't your average Formula car. This is a Formula E car, right, John? Yes, that's right. So why don't you tell, well, aside from the fact that it runs on electricity and not gasoline, what are some of the differences? Why don't you show us something about the car, some of the features? Yeah, okay, I will try, I will try to show you what is the difference between uh, normal formula and this kind of cars. First of all, I want, I want to say thank you to be here for you because it's a pleasure that you come and, and see your car. Uh, this car, it's, um, if you see the, the, the noise, if you see front and where the driver is sitting, it's really similar to another formula car, okay? The only thing is that we have this special part in front of the wheels because we are trying to save uh, the aerodynamic, to improve on aerodynamic from a standard formula. And uh, with this, uh, we avoid that the air will go directly to the wheel. So the air is going around the wheel. So you're actually doing some aerodynamic things in addition to the technical things. Yeah, exactly. The aerodynamic is also important to, to save energy. That's important. Exactly. And then uh, if you see here, here on the seat, I mean, it's, it's like a normal car. The only difference is the wheel steering that we have, okay? This wheel steering uh, will, will uh, give a lot of information to the driver because he knows exactly at each moment the level of the energy that he has. And also because this driver will play a lot with the energy during the race. I mean, uh, the driver will decide how much energy he will use and how much um, he will use the e-motor with more power, less power to manage their strategy of the race and also on the brakes because also you can uh, uh, recover uh, the like energy the regenerative braking. when you're braking. So you can use more regen or less regen every time. So the driver will play during all the race with more regen, less regen, more power, less power. And uh, the idea is to, to be as fast as possible, but to arrive to the finish line with enough energy. Got it, got it. What about the engine itself? Uh, if you come to the rear, here we have all the powertrain system. Uh, the engine is, a, is an electrical engine, it's an e-motor, that's clear. And the most important is all the battery pack. Here inside, where a normal uh, formula has all the fuel cell, here we have all the battery pack, okay? Now, now, a quick question, and I have to ask this question. Are, is, the fact that there's no fuel, do you, are you feel more comfortable about fire or flame accidents in a vehicle or is has no concern? Well, it's different, it's different. Like here, here the most important is uh, to, to look for the safety because the electricity. I mean, well, you are working at 650 volts, so <laughs> the most important is to manage that the car has to be safety for the driver and for the other people that is around the car, not to have uh, electricity. Like, yeah. So, so not, not, burning, not getting burned, but getting shocked is the issue here. Exactly, that's, that's, uh, it's a different, uh, different way of safety. Although I do see a massive cooling system here. Yeah, for sure, because we have to, to fresh all the, um, all the cells that we have inside the battery pack and also we have to, fray the, to, to, to fresh the radiator, the stator and the e-motor. Right. Now, I do see also a large transmission. I had thought that an e-car e wouldn't have a transmission because you can adjust the motors directly. No, because the, the efficiency of the e-motor is um, it's a, little bit, a little bit more the, on, on the high RPMs for this motor that we have at this moment. So we, we are using a sequential gearbox from Hewlin with six gears, six radios. This is the solution that, that, that uh, the constructor of this car this year have found. For next year, that everything is, uh, is uh, free, we will develop a new car. So all the power then will be maybe different and we are working on it. <laughs> Very good, so it's a moving target. Just like it's in all racing, you're trying to find the better solution every time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This year, all the cars are the same for all the teams because it's the first year for the season. But next year, everybody will be constructor and will develop his own car. So we are working on it. Do you have, I mean, obviously you can't tell us anything secret, but what do you see as big changes between the teams next year? For sure, will be more different than this year because maybe some people will look for a motor a little bit bigger to have uh, to have to, to to increase the performance another will try to reduce the weight as maximum as possible other will try to go without gearbox only one ratio other will try to increase the efficiency for ratios so there is some different solutions for next year and uh, it depends on the best engineers to find the solution. There you go. And what I always do on my podcast is I give my guests the opportunity to have the last word. Is there anything about this that you wanted to add before we close this out? 
No, it's only it's only to tell to everybody that this is an exciting an exciting Formula project and uh, for engineers for drivers, and the most important is on street circuits always. So uh, it's uh, it's really nice for the people to come to the street circuits to see the races in middle of the city, and uh, also you can see a lot of accidents, overtakings, and a lot of things that happen. And I think that this, the people will enjoy it. I think so too. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time today, especially on a busy race day. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And I'd like to thank everybody out there in the audience for taking the time to be with us. We wouldn't be here without you. Tell your friends. This is Alex Paul for Paul Tom Power. Have a great day.